Hey GearFacts friends, today we're looking at the Do Re MIDI USB MIDI host. What we basically have here is a replacement for a computer in a situation where you want a USB device to talk to a traditional MIDI device. Now in my experience, things like this are a whole lot of headaches with limited effectiveness. Let's see how the Do Re MIDI goes. So we should be set up correctly here. We've got some battery power going into the Do Re MIDI, MIDI out to the MIDI in on the device we want to control. Power is on, power is on, everything's on channel one, and we're getting nothing. Let's change the MIDI around and see if it works in reverse. Headphones go over to the keyboard. Should be hearing piano, but no. So that's our first Doro MIDI experiment. No dice. Okay, setup number two. We've got the monologue connected by USB over to the Doro MIDI which is powered by the power brick and it's going into the MIDI in on a Roland PMA5 and naturally we're going to very simply hear a melody played here coming out of the Roland, aren't we? We're still getting nothing. Okay, we're trying on mains this time. There's a cat. Everything's powered up and plugged in correctly. Still no. Hmm, let's go back to the manual. Okay, so everything's definitely set up correctly, but we're still getting no signal. According to this little message at the end of the manual, it says contact customer service for a firmware upgrade if we're having these problems. There is no evidence of any way to contact customer service. So it's time to search the net. Well, I have to say that was remarkably easy to find. And it turns out that there's a compatibility list. No firmware upgrade. This is a bit scary. The PX130 piano I was just using is not on the list and neither is the Korg monologue. Doesn't matter that the PMA5 is not on the list because once this data is MIDI, it's just MIDI. It'll work with any device. I do, however, have a Korg Electribe. Let's give that a go. Okay, everything's plugged in correctly. Let's give this a go. So it does work, it just seems that there is a limited array of devices that it will work on. I suspect that using a power brick kind of gets in the way of things too. I had more success with direct mains power. And even though it's not on the list, I eventually did get the Korg monologue to talk to a Sonicway Liven. After a little bit of perseverance, the Doro MIDI actually performed reasonably well. We didn't get the completely thorough multi-channel accuracy that I was hoping for, but we certainly got basic MIDI tracks from one device to another. And of course, this is just the beginning. More upgrades are coming for the Doro MIDI, so it'll be compatible with more devices. And I found it did actually work on more things than were shown in that list. You have to remember, of course, that even though it does what it promises to do, it's not a perfect solution in that it still requires extra power, extra cabling, and a whole lot of extra mess around your workspace. But still, it's better than lugging a laptop around. Thanks for watching GearFacts today. Let me know what you think. I'll see you on the next one.